Hello all my chickadees! Welcome back! Today we're going to be checking out a demo for a Yandiri game in development called Gentle Fall. Now, as always, the link to the ga game will be down below so you guys can go check it out for yourself if you wish and follow the dev if you really like this game. And, um, we're just gonna jump on in. Alright? Yeah! My name is Sparrow. Warning, the co following game contains disturbing themes such as death of animals, non-con drug use, stalking, panic attacks, psychological abuse, and minor jump scares. That is the warning. If any of those make you uncomfortable or not feel safe, please click away. I want all my chickadees to be safe. Um, honestly, a reason why I put off playing this one for so long is the death of animals about got to me. I'm like, oh, cause that, that's one of my weak points right there. And, but I'm going to give it a try. So I know. All right. Everybody's warned. Everybody's good. Okay. Then buckle up buttercup. Cause here we go. It's early fall. The leaves are still falling outside. The streets are covered in a monotone hue of orange and green. The middle of October is mostly very calm. There's nothing much happening. Finals are still somewhat far. But even if I wanted, it doesn't mean I can relax just yet. Shifting my bed, I look at my phone. 6 a.m. as usual. The rays of sunlight were already entering my room. Oh, today is... Right. I almost forgot. There was a workshop today. I'm not all that enthusiastic about it, in all honesty. At least, for me, college is very different from high school. Talking to others isn't the same thing anymore. It felt more intimidating. But... I guess I should be thankful for these workshops, since talking to others is pretty important in my field. In the end, even if they were a drag, they're still good for me. In any case, I better get ready. Stretching lazily as I got up, I looked at myself in the mirror. Alright, we got our first... Let's see. There's always a big gap above it every time I stand in front of it. I am short. <laughs> My frame fits perfectly well in the mirror. I am average height. I had to bow down slightly so I could see my face. I am tall. <laughs> okay, this is the first time uh, <laughs> I've seen an option where uh, you're picking your height. That's really interesting. So, are we going to be a short baby, a medium baby, or a tall baby? Huh. <laughs> I really like the idea of a really tall boy. <laughs> okay, because me, honestly, I, I'm average. I'm like average height. Um, I want to go tall. We're, we're tall today. Yes. I really should buy a bigger mirror. My tired expression looked back at me from the mirror, and my hair was pretty disheveled. I sure better fix this before leaving my room. Since I live alone, it was kind of a hassle to make my own breakfast every morning. I ended up going for to a shop near... Uh, I all... Man, I can't talk today. <laughs> I ended up always going for the shop near where I studied every morning instead. I had to wait a little before I got there. But it was very much worth the wait. The small shop that I had grown quite fond of drew closer in the distance. The smell of freshly brewed coffee tingled in my nose. It was much cozier compared to the cold outside, like a warm, gentle cuddle. I wish I could stay here more, but I didn't want to risk being late today. Hello, what can I do for you? As usual, I ordered. Mm. History. No, no. Can I do another quick save? Just go to a different one? Or the same one? I don't know. We'll find out. 
plain black coffee, please. One latte, please. Maca latte. We're going to pick the latte. Sure thing. I sat down in the table near the window, but it didn't, uh, it didn't took long. Uh, it didn't take long until my order was ready. Thank you for ordering. Have a good day. I gave the girl my best smile. You too. Ooh, we're in the, we're in those cool colleges that have like, uh, the, like it goes upward. Those are really cool. Those are fun. Seems like I arrived early, and there wasn't many people in the lecture hall yet. I guess I got too worked up about not being late. Hey, better early than late, you know? The few people that were here seemed to be busy talking to each other. I ended up taking an empty seat. I needed some time before I gathered enough courage to speak to anyone. Is the seat taken? Oh? Looking up? Oh, he is cute. He's cute. <laughs> Looking up, I met the tired eyes of a very tall man. Wait, wait. So we're tall, and this guy's taller than us. Yes. Yes. Like, really tall. Even if I was tall myself, he somehow looked taller. Where did that guy even come from? I swear I didn't hear him walking closer. Oh, not really. Can I help you? The man nodded. Chester! His name is Chester! Okay, that actually really fits him. Forgive my rudeness. My name is Chester. Chester. For some reason, his name reminds me of dinosaurs. Um, I'm Sparrow. It's nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you, too. Would you mind pairing up with me today, Sparrow? I tried smiling at the man. He sure had a former way of spe formal way of speaking. Well, why not? I guess that's also the issue of having to look for a group. The silence in between us seemed to extend for minutes. Right. I guess that's would say something. So, I haven't talked to you before, have I? Yes, you haven't. As I thought, I really don't know what to talk about with him. Does that make you uncomfortable? Well, not uncomfortable, just I don't know what to talk about. I see. In that case, I suggest, I suggest we get more acquainted with one another. As in my opinion, it may benefit us both. Benefit us both? Mm-hmm. To me, it seems like you don't have a set group yet, and neither do I. So, yes, it would benefit us both. Uh, he does have a point. So, what do you say? Well, I think so. I mean, I don't particularly have anything against it. <laughs> That's great. So, why don't you tell me more about yourself? Hmm. My mind was coming up empty. If I may be direct, for what reason were you alone in the first place? Well, how can I explain that? Um, I am not good with socializing, to be honest. I, I just got too lazy to build up courage I, uh, so I could talk to someone properly. Direct. Hmm. We're going to pick shy. Because it does seem like we don't have socializi socializing skills. But I'm trying my best... It's not that I hate people. Besides, a uh, farm farm ecologist should be good with people, right? Ah, oh, so we study medicine. Hmm. I see. Then I will make sure to act cautiously so you can feel more comfortable. Take it easy. There's no pressure to learn how to deal with people straight away. Internships are supposed to help achieve that. Ch achieve just that. Well, at least in theory. I smiled at his words. In his own way, he seems nice. What about you? After all, you said you didn't have a set group either. 
to tell you the truth. I suppose I could say I'm the same as you. I'm not very skilled at speaking to others. You're doing great, baby. You're doing great. Yep, you're doing very good. You get a gold star. His voice came out almost as a whisper. He seemed hesitant to say this. Well, it's like you said, internships are here to help. I'm sure you'll be okay. Thank you. I appreciate your concern. Hmm, maybe I was wrong in assuming it bothered him. He seems okay. At least, I think he is. His face hardly changes. After some time, the room starts filling up with people. Chester stood quiet, but it wasn't bothering me anymore. He seemed to be distracted. His eyes were glazed over. One of his legs were tapping slightly. After a few more minutes, the professor also arrived. There was going to be a brief lecture, and then we would go to the lab for the practical part. That is where the group bit should come. If I'm lucky, things will end smoothly and I'll be able to study in the afternoon before going home. Hopefully, Chester is competent enough in the lab work. I don't have I won't have to lead him too much. Yeah, Chester seems a bit nervous. I put my lab coat over my shoulders or over my clothes. The lab always smelled like a dentist's office, a cold and sterile smell that could only remind me of the color white. It was even colder now since the leaves were falling. I can only wonder how how one would handle being here in the winter. Oh, look at him! <laughs> Adorable. So, shall we begin? He looked at me, waiting for me to get ready. Sure. In the end, things ended up all right. Chester wasn't well coordinated on working with someone else, but in fact, he was competent. He was often le leaving me behind without realizing it. With some work, we made our d dynamic as a duo function well enough. The sun was already soaring in the middle of the sky. I was leaning uh, in the sink while washing my hands. Well, this did take a bit longer than I expected. Are you upset? He was already prepared to leave. Not really. I feel like the time invested was pretty worth it. You're pretty good at this. Thank you. You're not bad yourself. Either way, I really should get going. Of course. See you soon? See you soon, Sparrow. He exited the room. After drying my hands, I was prepared to leave as well. I opened the door and walked down the corridor. But just as I exited the room, I remembered that I forgot my lab coat hung somewhere. What a pain. After one year, you think you'd get used to not forgetting such a simple thing. I mean, it happens. It happens. You can be doing something the same way for ten years and you suddenly forget one day. But I'm glad I noticed it was missing soon enough. Something laying over the desk caught my attention. It seemed like Chester forgot something, too. It looked like a small notebook. He probably took it out to take notes. I'll give it back to him next time I see him. Is it actually notes, or is it, like, something else? Is it his love journal? Sitting down at the table, I put my bag on top of it to start studying. Surprisingly, today the library was not as crowded as it always was. Sweet silence filled it. Seemed like a nice day outside, too. Sadly, not nice enough to abandon my degree just yet. I really should get to work on those PDFs. Oh, I accidentally knocked over Chester's notebook. It opened itself to a random page as it hit the ground. See, we're not snooping. Gravity is snooping. Gravity is snooping, not us. <laughs> huh? It was a schedule after all? He must be really into organizing stuff. I picked it up and stared at it for a few moments. Monday. Let's see, 6 a.m., wake up. 6.30, left house. 6.50, took train. 7.20, uh, ordered latte. 7.45, arrived. We ordered a latte. Huh? Isn't this... Today, oh, hello, Chester. <laughs> hello, buddy. Um, we weren't doing nothing, no. 
Please excuse me. It seems I lost something in the lab. Did, did you by any chance come across it? <laughs> They're just sitting there looking at each other like... Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Marvelous. That notebook was exactly what I was looking for. Thank you, Sparrow. You're very helpful. I am? Of course. You see, I'm quite useless without it. Really? I didn't realize you were disorganized about things. I must be imagining things. You flatter me. I believe I have yet a long way to go. But alas, I wish I could stay more. But I am quite in quite a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me. Right. Just my imagination. Hmm, that was kind of suspicious. Try as, I, as much as I try to dis deny to myself, when I saw, what I saw was lingering in my mind. The more I thought about it, the more silly it sounded in my mind. It feels so irrational to think that someone would be keeping tabs on me, right? I should keep an eye out for him at the very least. Chapter 1. The Gentle Autumn Rain Since then, Chester now talks to me occasionally, sitting by my side silently in the classes we shared. The thought of what I saw still never left my mind, and I kept thinking of ways to bring it up to him again and question it. But for now, it uh, has just rendered me anxious about the topic. Beside that incident, he never acted oddly since, which only made me more confused. Good afternoon, Mr. Alder. You arrived earlier than usual today, huh? Mr. Alder is my assigned professor who gives me instructions to work in the lab. He is the one who guides me and the other four students assigned to him. Well, since you are here first, I'd like to tell you that I got a new assistant. Actually, I think... It will do you and the others well. Honestly, I never thought I needed an assistant before, but that young man just convinced me so well. A new TA? Mr. Adler never had a TA before. Is it the boy? Is it Chester? It was really impressive, I would say, since he's basically at the same learning point as you. I was doubtful at first, but he somehow passed the test I gave him anyway. He seemed so dedicated. Besides, I think it, it will do you well to talk to people your age, too, dear. <laughs> no offense, of course. None taken. Older people are so brutal sometimes. Mr. Adler in particular acts like a gossiply old lady. I just never saw you talking to anyone besides the professor before. You should try to get out of your bubble. Oh, I say this because I worry about you, dear, of course. Yeah, thanks. Good afternoon. Or, good afternoon. Huh? Chester? Do you already know each other? Well, this is the gentleman I was talking about. I knew it! <laughs> hey. Just remember not to let personal relationships interrupt your academic pursuits and try to stay focused. Of course. You need not worry about such things, Mr. Adler. So, you wanted to be his TA? Of course. Seems like it would be entertaining. This guy's idea of fun is really weird. But I won't complain. I suppose Mr. Adler, while being a very good professor, is not the most ideal person. He is a very eccentric man. Sometimes I feel like he's more of a threat to me than those chemicals in my lab. I guess Chester being here could be a big help to uh, keep him under control. I didn't know you liked doing these sorts of stuff. Teaching, I mean. Is that so? I'll do anything as long as I can avoid retail. <laughs> okay, 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 Chester. That is a solid move. That is a solid... <laughs> Avoiding retail. Avoiding retail. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is a nightmare area. And what happened to an internship being there to help you deal with people? Well, I'm dealing with you. 
his mother's, am I not? If you need anything, please come to me, Sparrow. I'll be here to help you with anything you require. You can rely on me. Are you leaving already, Sparrow? Yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm beat. Would you be interested in drinking coffee with me? Huh? Sure, I guess I could use the break. Chester never really tried to take the initiative in talking to me like this. I guess he's starting to put in more effort into it now. That would be lovely. Would you like to pl pick a place? Plus another thing about him. He always seemed to try to please others from what I've seen. Maybe you could consider him a pushover? But honestly, I feel a bit worried that people may abuse his personality. Wouldn't you like to pick the place instead? Well, I don't really know that many shops to be fully this sincere. I had hoped you you could help me with that. Hmm. Fine, I know a place. And we took him to our spot where we're at all the time. So, you said you came here a lot. Isn't that right? What do you usually drink when you come here? Oh, you know. You know what we drink. We saw your notebook. Honestly, I usually just order their latte. I'm not that good with a bitter taste of coffee, so I prefer it. Also, the taste is nice and comforting. Is that so? I suppose I will drink it with you. I smiled at him. It was a nice afternoon. I was done with studying, and I didn't have anything else to do. I always forget to take a break myself. I'm glad Chester was here. At this point, studying antidepressants were starting to give me a depression. It almost feels as if I was in high school again, hanging out casually with my friends. Except something else crossed my mind. So, um, about that notebook you left in the lab. Yes. Um, how could I even ask someone this? This is awkward. That notebook. What was it? It's a schedule. I thought you saw it before you gave it back. Y yeah, it's just crap. It seemed very familiar. Familiar? <laughs> We're just sitting there staring at each other like, cricket, 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 cricket. <laughs> huh. Are you saying you thought I was stalking you? Oh my. That'd be abhorrent. I would never do such a thing. That schedule was my own, of course. His hands were shaking slightly as he held his cup. It was? Oh, oh I'm, I'm very sorry. Honestly, I don't remember the contents that well anymore. It has been almost a week since that. But he couldn't just be lying, could he? Chester doesn't seem like he would do that. Well, it's okay. I just hope I didn't scare you. I'm very sorry for this misunderstanding. How about this? As compensation, the drinks are on me, okay? I would like to make up for distressing you. Are you sure? It's not even fully your fault, you know? I insist. Well, we got a free drink. We are a poor college kids, so free drink is pretty good. So... I shifted in my seat from that uncomfortable silence. You're in... Pharma pharmacology too, right? Why did you take that degree? Well, I, g I guess I just like it. <clears throat> I find the prospect of working in a laboratory to be very interesting. I guess this degree d appeals to my interest. But I was aiming for medicine. I just wanted to make my parents not worry about me. Well, you are happy with your degree. And it's a pretty prestigious school, too. Wouldn't you say they're proud? Would you like to order something to eat? Personally, I'm quite hungry. Mmm, you avoiding that question like a pro. So, do your parents even know you're in the school? Do you have parents? My treat. Um... 
Yeah, I guess it'd be nice. I'm quite hungry, too. Are you okay, Chester? I'm going to say, are you okay, Chester? Y yes. I'm perfectly fine. I suppose I'll get us something sweet. I guess Chester worries about making his parents proud. I hope he's doing fine. But we did ask. We did ask. It has been such a long while since I last spent time with uh, like this with someone. I really appreciate Chester for going out with me today. I often get so caught up with studying, trying not to stay behind, but for this day, I forgot all about it. Maybe others would see Chester as an awkward guy. But to me, ah, uh, I think he's so nice and caring, romantic. I think he's a great friend, platonic. <laughs> I'm going this way. I want to know more about him and be there for him. End of demo. All right. That was interesting. I wonder how Chester first saw us because he's definitely was like keeping track of us because that was a schedule of what we did that day. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I wonder how he, fir he first like got interested in us and how much is he keeping track of us? We're going to have to wait and find out. But really quick, I'm going to jump back through and see if we chose anything else. No! Wait. Ah, yay! Okay, um... If we chose something different... Okay, what if we pick... I think he's a great friend. I want to know more about him. And be there for him. Okay, so it goes the same way. I'm guessing that that will branch into, um, you know, the rest of the game. Like, affect our choices from there. Um, okay, instead of saying, are you okay? We're just going to say, yeah, I guess it'd be nice too. Lovely. I will get us something sweet to eat then. Okay, so it just skips us asking about him. All right. All right, me quick load. Okay, um, boop. what about over here? Okay, um, here we're going to say I'm too lazy to build up courage. Also, everyone looks so unapproachable, or maybe it's just the nerves of meeting someone new. Oh, I have to admit, I didn't expect that. Not that it's a bad thing. At least you're not struggling. And for that, I'm relieved for you. I smiled at his words. In his own way, he seems nice. Okay, and... Okay, and then it looks like it's going back to the original plot line. Okay, nice. I like it whenever, you know, it does give us, like, extra dialogue and we're learning more about it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's just so much to learn about Chester. So, this is going to be a really interesting game to find um, out more about as we go. But all this is looking the same here, yeah. I love how he's just like, woof, just like swoop in. <laughs> okay, let's see. Skip. Wee. 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 Okay, um, so I don't think there's that much divergent in, you know, in, I don't think anything has, like, a big difference of so far, but I'm sure some of these choices will definitely affect the future ones. Okay, let's see what happens when we're short. 
Maybe this mirror is a bit of an overkill for me. My tired expression looks back at me from the hair. I better fix this. Okay. Wee. Okay. Makalata. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So it quick loads our last thing. Okay. I don't know how to get back to the main page. Okay. Um. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're back in the main menu. Um, if I missed anything, I'm sorry. But I think we've covered most of it. Yeah, so I'm interested to see where this goes from here. Also, you guys should definitely pop over and like support this dev. This is their first game. I know, right? It, it's like very well. Uh, especially for a first like demo. It looks really good. Like the art's great. The the way is um the descriptions are lovely. Um I seen like a couple of grammar errors, but I mean everybody makes grammar errors. This is like the first demo out. So I mean it's gonna it'll, it'll be cleaned up soon. But yeah, this is awesome and I'll definitely like to see where this goes next. Um the link is down below as I mentioned before and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.